we're going to derive this implicitly. So let's drive this first piece. E to the u is just e to the u, u prime. So the answer is going to be e to the u times u prime, which is derivative of xy is derivative of the first one, which is x times y plus x times y prime. Derivative of 2x, derivative of x squared is 2x, x prime, but don't worry about that. And the derivative of y squared is 2y, but now you need the y prime. And the derivative of 10 is 0. Remember, whenever you derive a y, put y prime. A lot of people forget that. Whenever you derive x, you don't have to because dx over dx is 1, disappears. Okay, our next goal is to get y prime by itself. So we're trying to isolate this bad boy and this bad boy. So, in order to do that, my uh, first take would probably be, there's multiple options here. I'm going to distribute first e to the xy times y plus xy prime e to the xy and then uh, plus 2x minus 2y y prime equals zero. And the next step, I think, is let's get the, e, the y primes by themselves. So let's move everything else over. So xy prime e to the xy minus 2y y prime equals, we move the 2x over so it becomes negative 2x, and we move this over, and to get the y primes by itself, you take the GCF of y prime, that leaves you x e to the xy minus 2y, and uh, this stays, and I'm going to leave the y, I'm going to put the y in front. I think I like the y in front. And the last step would be to divide by this. Because we want to get the y prime by itself. that's gone. So y prime is equal to negative 2x minus y e to the xy over x e to the xy minus 2y. I don't see any GCFs that will pull out and cancel. So I think we are done. <coughs>